Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Wyoming Blessed with Tish and today we have a whole, as I'm calling it, the whole crustacean seafood boil. So if you don't know what that is, that means the crab's whole, the lobster's whole, the shrimp are whole. Now I do have one thing in here that's not whole that we've never had on this channel and I thought, you know what, I'm going to have it today. And that's scallops. But I only put three in here. And of course this is in the beloved sauce because it's amazing. Let's be real. And we have a couple of potatoes, some eggs, and a corn. And if you noticed, I'm not wearing a mic. I have my new microphone. I hope the sound is much better. I hope um, that y'all really enjoy it. So, if you haven't done so, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Um, and of course, we are still doing the drawings for the 200 subscribers, the 500 subscribers, and the 10,000 subscribers. Uh, there's a video on my channel. If you look it up, it'll tell you all the details. Um, and then today, we do have peaches and cream. If you hear some background noises, I apologize for that. So, you know, my setup will be changing throughout. I'm a little channel. I'm learning. And as you learn, you change things, correct? For the better. I do apologize if the lighting is not perfect today. We just got hit with a pretty good snowstorm. I'll put some pictures up on my Instagram so you can see. Of course the ground's warm enough that it's all melting, uh, but like in my backyard you can see it and we're supposed to have 45 mile per hour winds today. Yay! Don't I look excited? Anyways, and we do have cucumbers. I do have my rice. This is the particular brand that I like to use. Whoop! It's dripping out some water. Um, I just like the texture of it if I'm not cooking my own rice. A lot of times I do. I'm gonna set that right there. But now you can't see my cucumber. So we'll set it right there. All right. And hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you supporting me for supporting me. Um, it's greatly appreciated. So let's get started. Let's start with the delicious. But I gotta get it in some of this bee love sauce here. See, it's dripping bee love sauce. You can see like the onions and stuff on top of the crab. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> My mouth's watering so much. Because of this, I'm like choking on my own saliva. Check that out. Y'all want to see it? It's dripping in the rice. Want a bite? Mm. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot. Anyways. Starting as of right now, this is the don't say mmm challenge just so y'all know and that um, was excuse me <laughs> choking still a little bit and I will definitely tag the creator 
below. I am so sorry about that sound. I do live next door to a bus, or not a bus, to a school. So you're gonna hear that from time to time, especially with my new microphone. Mm. Mm. some onions. Doesn't that look amazing? Mm. Is it a little spicy? I cooked them in my husband's caldo de pollo last night and there was a jalapeno in there and they were left over and I was like you know I'm not gonna waste them I'll throw them in my seafood boil instead of doing new ones look at that doesn't that look delicious mmm So rules of the challenge are, if you say that, you can't eat for another minute. And here I thought, oh, I won't say that. Obviously I'm wrong. Of course you're going to lose whenever you say that. Whenever you say, I'm not going to say that. So, yeah. I will show you. I did um, clean the Dungeness crab this time before I cooked it, so it's just the top. <laughs> Sitting on top of it, it is whole still. Like I said, still whole. Let's get a paper towel to put that down on. I thought for sure I was going to win this challenge. Obviously, I thought wrong. Because <laughs> it took all of, what, a minute or two? You know when the food's good, it's good. What can you do? It's good, it's good. Alright, we can start eating again. Let's do one of these shrimp. As y'all know, I... Ooh! Okay. It's just going to pop everywhere. I eat what's in the heads of the shrimp. Do not do it on the crabs. There's just good stuff in the shrimp. I'm telling you. Look at that. And no, that was not that word. That was that. <laughs> Just in case. That's yummy. Mm. 
All them noises, I'm telling you. We don't start none of that until we start a video. But. Mm, my camera's doing something. Sorry about that. Let's try some of this corn. As you all know, I'm not huge on corn. So you probably won't see me like eating a whole bunch of that. Like fresh corn? Oh yeah. I can tear up some fresh corn. But frozen? Mm -mm. And it's that time of year. Look at all those onions <laughs> falling. It's that time of year and that's all you can really get. You know? Is frozen. Around here. So the next video, or a video next week, I should say, I'm going to do the habits challenge. No habits challenge created by Tay and Lou. If y'all got some suggestions on what habits I should not do, leave a comment down below and let me know. I know one of them. Don't crack the crab with your teeth. That's how I've always done it. I do have my nails painted too. I'm actually growing them out. See? See what y'all are doing for me? Mm. Really? This is a lot harder of a challenge than I thought it would be. Oh goodness. Get that out of there. It's probably from the lobster or a shrimp. You know, they have antenna. Oh, can't do that. I didn't think that I said, mm-hmm, didn't say that much. I guess I can say it because I'm not eating. So I didn't think I said it that much, but obviously I do. Who would have known? I know. Silence. Say something. Oh, you know what? We do have something to talk about. I'm so excited for this. So if y'all don't know, I love Selena. I always have. I love the movie that has Jennifer Lopez, which I think she did an amazing job in that movie. Um, and represented Selena well. And did you know there's a series for Selena coming in 2020 on Netflix? I'm so excited. I hope that it does a good job. You know, I think she is an important icon to the Mexican American culture. I just love her music. It's like I can sing all her songs. My sister in law. I didn't know anything about it, actually. I don't know why I haven't heard about it. Probably because I'm often in my own little world. Because I do work. And do a lot of other things. <laughs> Including homeschool. So, I don't get a lot of 
free time to do my own stuff or really watch TV. I don't really watch TV. But she was like, did you see this? Because she knows that I love Selena. And I was like, what? <laughs> and she goes, you have to talk about that on your channel. I'm like, oh yeah. How many of my subscribers, or anybody, anybody, you don't even have to be a subscriber. How many of y'all like Selena? It's funny, I'm sitting here and bitty bitty bum bums playing in my head. <laughs> I'm not going to be singing it. Y'all don't want to hear that. So I think if the weather cooperates, hopefully I will be going down to Utah again and getting some more crap. I know I have scissors sitting over there. I just prefer to use, yeah, I still have my football, paper towels, or towels. We call them paper towels, but I do still have my football ones. Mm, what shall we try now? Let's do an egg. Get some of that onion and stuff on it. Those are yummy. There's something about the beloved sauce. It just goes good in everything. And I mean everything. <clears throat> Have you yet to find anything that it doesn't? It's probably will be little bit of a longer video just because there's so much seafood here and seafood takes such a long time to try not to get it on my shirt there's the aminas in there it's usually some more meat and whatnot in there Putting all the shells in that crab head. <laughs> it works. Excuse me. It's a little bit cold today. Not a little bit. It's cold today. We'll just put it that way. I mean, it's not as cold as it can get. But it's cold. We have a basketball game tonight to go to. I would but yeah I'm excited to watch that like I said hopefully it does justice to her and her family for people to see how wonderful she really was or that I believe she was I never personally met her No clue why these Dungeness crabs keep playing games with me. But they do. 
Maybe it's just the ones I get or something. Because they never want to come out of the shells. And when I get them, they're frozen. Um, but not cooked. So I don't know if that's got something to do with it. Hopefully this mic's set up well. If not, trust that we will be working on that. Oh, I can see the wind blowing snow. It's always fun to have a mini hurricane winds with snow. Boy, I'm just going to need a whole bunch of these. So I'm just going to do a couple. <laughs> I had to start a little space heater back here before I started the video because it was so cold that like everything was fogging up because there's no heater in this actual back room. It's just like a little sun porch type thing. But it has electrical, of course. My dad owned this house before me. And he was an electrician, so. I just love the sauce on the rice. It's so good. Wow. That's all I'm going to say is wow, because it's that good. We probably won't eat the full body. Just because if I do that, the video will be crazy long. <coughs> and I try not to... <coughs> Sorry. A piece, piece of cucumber stuck in my throat. Apparently I cannot talk again today. So I have fibromyalgia. It causes brain fog. It causes me to kind of stutter over my words sometimes. So if I do that, I do apologize. If you have any questions about fibromyalgia, feel free to ask me. It's not fun. I can tell you that much. Especially being my age and having it. You know, people look at me like, oh, you know, I'll stumble over my words and I think I'm dumb or something. And it's like, no. I tested very highly on. All the tests I've taken in my life. It's just the fibro. It's it's horrible to have. They must be picking up the garbage cans. I can hear it. This is just a little lobster. When I go down to Utah this time, I'm going to get a bigger one. Because this is all we have in town. It's these little lobsters. And of course they're the whole pre-cooked ones. I don't really care for them. They're just not my favorite. Look at that. Thing's gonna cut me. 
I can feel it coming. Clean my hands a little bit. And if I feel that they're like pokey like that, and they're gonna cut me, I'll kinda wad up some paper towels, or I'll get a kitchen towel and do it. You should just get a get get a kitchen towel back here for that. Oh, look, it's just kind of popping out the other way. These are brand new scissors too. Goodness, they're definitely picking up the garbage. That's the big garbage. I have buildings around us, so. You wanna see? Look. It's a lobster claw. It's a little one. <laughs> and as you all know, lobster is like my favorite. I have a feeling. I do have a hammer sitting back here, but I'm not going to be banging that thing in y'all's ears. <clears throat> like, I'm not doing it. I know one of my other habits <laughs> that my son was like, Mom, you need not to do this habit in your video. He's like, don't say it happens. I'm like, what? And I know I say it a lot. That's like my go-to phrase for everything in life is, it happens. All right, y'all. Check that out. That's a big old lobster claw. Let's get some onion on it. Look. That's delicious. Wanted to say that word, but I didn't. Let's get another scallop. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. There's nothing worse than an overcooked scallop. Well, yeah, there is. Overcooked clams. Or squid. I will be doing some octopus. I love octopus. Pulpo. Love it. It's delicious. If y'all haven't had it, try it. It's one of those things that it has to be cooked correctly. If it's not, it is just like squid. It will be super chewy. It will become a rubber band. But if you get it cooked correctly, of course we don't get that fresh hair. It comes pre-cooked. And I don't like it like that because then when I have to cook it to warm it up, it gets overcooked. And I'm not doing that. There we go. But I'm going to get some down there. Let me know if there's some other stuff that y'all would like to see on my channel. I'd be more than happy. Um, 
have been talking a little bit with my doctor about adding a little bit of meat back into my diet um, for the simple fact that I'm getting too much soy. And um, if y'all don't know, soy is not the best for women. So you may see a little bit. It will not be much. Let's get into his tail. Did. Maybe it didn't. No. Oh well. It happens. You just say ouch. Seafood has sharpness on it. You get over it. It feels like it did, but I don't see anything, so. Come on. Oh, this is just a little itty bitty. Bitty bitty tail. Itty bitty. I still have some of those great big ones. Y'all might not, but I do. I clean all the yucky stuff out. Look at that. Mmm. Come and eat some with me. Looky there. If you haven't gotten this beloved sauce, you need to. Amazing. Look. That is delicious. See, it should be just slightly opaque in the middle and tender. That's the key to it. Tender. It doesn't take long to cook a scallop. I'm a mess. Mukbangers are kind of messy eaters, so. You know, when you're eating this kind of food, tell me one of y'all that don't get messy. You're gonna get messy. <laughs> like, there's no getting around it. Like if you eat like this where it's in the sauce I love cucumbers y'all 
I hate to say this, but I am full. I really am. I know. What can I say? It's the rice and potatoes. I will definitely be doing another video. My next one is um, a seafood taco salad. Yummy. If y'all don't love taco salad, you don't know what you're missing. So I am going to leave y'all here. I hope to see you in my next video. And again, I appreciate all the support. And please stay warm and stay blessed. Bye, y'all.